So we got some goodies. Oh, there's a scooter, watch out. We got some goodies from 7-Eleven, some snacks. We're headed down to Bangkok. We're gonna watch Joel's fight tomorrow for, uh, for the big belt. I'm very excited to see him. Uh, hopefully he's gonna bring that belt home. But today, we're gonna go ahead and check out the floating market, a train market, which I'm so excited to see. I, I, I've been wanting to see this train market for a while. We're gonna tell you more when we get there. And then um, probably just uh, grab lunch, dinner, and explore. What do you think, Florian? Good idea. I think it's gonna be fun, man. I think it's gonna be real fun. All right, let's find a taxi. We're at the Meiklung train market. I believe I pronounced that correctly. And we're here to check out how this train is just gonna come right down the middle of this market. All the people, all the stall vendors are gonna push their canopies out and get their food out of the way. <laughs> and it's gonna be pretty impressive. And uh, the train should be here any minute. We got here just in the nick of time. Uh, so we need to set up and, and get ready for this shot and we'll talk a little bit right after, okay? Go. So we got to see the train go through the market. What do you think, Mike? It's small. It is small. You know, a lot of foreigners. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, you're a big guy. Yeah, it's uh, kind of tough for me, but, uh, you know, I, I thought the train would be a little bit faster, to be honest. Oh, I thought the same right? thing. I honestly thought the train would be quicker, and I'm really happy it wasn't, because yeah. I was on the wrong side of the tracks, uh -huh. and they kept yelling at somebody to move to the other side of the tracks. They were yelling at me. Yep. And if I didn't move, I would have been ran over. I mean, we would have just gone right on top of me. So yeah. I'm glad I had that time to uh, save my life. Yeah. But it was still very interesting. Just like any other traditional market, you have those great smells, you know, the fish smell and the spices and the aroma, but uh, the train adds an extra benefit to you know, that extra adrenaline. So from here, we're gonna head out to the floating market, one of the largest in Bangkok, and uh, hopefully grab lunch or breakfast or something. Yeah? I like lunch. Yeah, it sounds good. So, as you can tell, we are on a uh, long tail boat. We had to haggle quite a bit to uh, get a, I would like to say a good price, but really it's not that good of a price. The prices went up in the last six years. Uh, the standard right now is about a thousand baht per person to get on one of these boats to head down to the floating market. Uh, and we brought it down to uh, 2,000 for the whole boat. So we say at about a thousand baht. Uh, but now we're gonna head down over there. We're gonna see what I, you know, what's there, what kind of market, what kind of, oh, here we go. What kind of food they're selling. I'll be honest with you guys. I have a feeling it's a tourist trap. But every once in a while, you gotta take a chance. You never know what you're gonna find. Florian, talk to the camera. <laughs> Your honest opinion, seriously, honestly. My honest opinion? Yeah, but you gotta be way louder. <clears throat> I have a bunch of feelings about that, yeah. Ex explain a little further why. Uh, uh, I already made some um, floating market in Cambodia and Vietnam. It was on a really lake on a river, you know? Here it looks like we are like in Disneyland, you know? Like everything is not made by nature but by human. It's, Filled with water and we just follow a path. I really don't like this market actually. But now it's a, not a good start actually, but we will see later how it is.
So, uh, Florian was right. It was definitely a tourist trap. We had an uh, inkling that it was going to be like that feeling. And um, sure enough, uh, you know, if you want to come here and see a floating market, by all means. Uh, but I recommend you don't buy anything here. Everything is at least two or three times more expensive. Um, and it, it's just a bunch of boats stuck behind each other, uh, following down the lazy river of people trying to uh, rip you off. <laughs> but we did it, and there's uh, no point of uh, crying over spilled milk. And for what it was, it was a nice boat ride, right? In, in uh, polluted water, so yeah. Oh yeah, good point, Mike. Keep your mouth closed when boats go by because that water goes right into your mouth. I'm telling you, man, you are going to have a bad day. <laughs> a really bad day. Uh, but we did it, and um, we're going to head back to the hotel, probably grab some uh, Korean food for dinner, and then check out a really nice market tonight, um, the Chinatown, and uh, see Joel's fight tomorrow. So I'm super stoked. Let's hope he wins, yeah? So we decided we might as well finish the night coming right here at the Chinatown Market. Take a look. We're gonna explore this place. We're gonna see all the uh, goodies and the uh, different types of food and treasures we can find. So let's check it out. What a crazy day. I almost got ran over by a train. We got stuck at a tourist trap at the floating market, but we ended it strong here in Chinatown. Try the incredibly delicious food speak to the vendors, soak up the culture, live life. Until next Monday, this is Alive Again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi YouTube family, I hope you liked this episode from Bangkok. Write a comment below about what do you think. There will be no fight from Joyce in this episode because we keep everything for a special documentary. It will be released very soon. Here the trailer. inspired like this like you need to reach dream for someone every time when you wake up in the morning you're just thinking I have a mission it's like that not just for me but for my boss for my hero